mid to upper 70s around the valley. Ooh, 53 up at Mount Charleston, eh, a little warmer from Lake Mead to Lake Mojave toward Laughlin. We've got numbers in the low 80s. Our morning planner delivers upper 70s through the six o'clock hour. So another hour or two where it's genuinely kind of cool and crisp. Outside will quickly push through the 80s, though, from 8 to 9 o'clock this morning. Sun getting higher in the sky. So by 10 a.m., we're kind of sweating it out in the sunshine as we hit 90 degrees. Later this afternoon, highs around 100, like yesterday. Actually, kind of sneakily below average. We'll take it. Typically, in early July, we're already flirting with 105 more often than not. So we'll take 100 today. But reality kicks in, and as we head through the rest of the week, day by day, temperatures will go up a couple degrees, and that means it's going to be a hot weekend. Today, though, 100, maybe even upper 90s in a couple of spots on the edge of town. Tomorrow, though, a couple degrees warmer. Uh, we get to 102 for your Wednesday. Of course, always an option to head up to the Spring Mountains. I feel like if you follow Kalina on Instagram or whatever the cool kids are doing social media wise, Facebook, uh, you'll see a lot of hiking pics of her and her pup, Sophia Rose, because it's 25 degrees cooler up in the Spring Mountains, highs there in the mid 70s, and no storm chances to worry about either. Uh, down here in the valley, plenty of sun, plenty of triple digits. We do, though, see a warm up toward 105 by Friday. This weekend looks hot, 107 each afternoon with 80s, uh, even as the sun rises early in the morning. And then Zora, I'm the last person to want to wanna see temperatures near 110, but that is what we are seeing early next week. Last thing you wanna see in your line of work, crashes during the morning commute. That's right, we've got